Hello guys, welcome back to my new After Effects tutorial. Today we are going to create this. Create a new composition name at logo revel. 1920 by 1080. Frame rate 30. Duration 10 seconds. And hit OK. Create a new solid layer. Name it background. Change color. Here have a color code. I give in description. Now select a ellipse tool, set fill to none, and stroke to solid color. And width of stroke is 150. Press Ctrl plus Shift to draw a perfect circle. Then expand the ellipse one, then ellipse path, in the ellipse path, set size to 500. Now add shadow to it. For shadow, right click on the text layer, go in layer styles, in layer styles, choose drop shadow. Now expand the drop shadow, in drop shadow, set color to a color code. Set opacity to 10, angle to 130 degree, distance to 50, and size to 80. Then select the shape layer, go in effects and presets, and search for drop shadow effects. And apply to the shape layer. Then choose the shadow color to white. Set opacity to 100. Distance to 20, angle to minus 60 degree, and softness to 100. Now expand the shape layer and add trim paths to shape layer. In trim paths. Go at 3 seconds, create a keyframe on the end property, and offset, also we will create a keyframe on the stroke width. Go to start of the animation, then press U to open only keyframes, at start, set stroke width 0, and also set the end property to 0, and offset to minus 180 degree. Now in stroke 1, set line cap to round cap. Perfect. Then select the shape layer and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the layer, and set it below the first shape layer. In the second shape layer, set ellipse path size to 850 Again press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the second shape layer Set it below the second shape layer In the third shape layer Set ellipse path size to 1200 Press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the third shape layer Set it below the third shape layer and set size to 1550. Again press Ctrl plus D to duplicate, set it below the fourth layer. In the fifth shape layer, set ellipse path size to 1900. Now select the pen behind tool press Ctrl and set the anchor point to middle. Apply this process to all layers. Now select the second layer and press R to open rotation. Set it randomly. And make same on all layers.
Now you are happy with it? Now add a logo, you can add any logo or text also, I am add a text. Set any color you want. Then pre-compose the logo or text layer, I will name it text comp. Now go in effects and presets, and search for fill effect, and apply to text comp. Then change color, here have a color code, press ctrl plus c to copy, and press ctrl plus v to paste it. Add a drop shadow to text layer, from the shape layer. Now, duplicate the first shape layer, and name it logo background, in the logo background layer set stroke to none and fill to solid color. Now delete all the keyframes to the layer, and also delete trim paths. Let's add some animation to it at a 3 second position. Press S to open scale, set scale value to 0%. Now go at 15 frames forward, and set back to 100%. Let's make the animation a little attractive, select all layers except the logo background layer. Press U to open keyframes, now select all the keyframes, right click on it go to keyframes assistant, and easy ease them, edit graph as shown. Now select the logo background layer, select all keyframes go to keyframes assistant and easy ease them. And edit graph as shown. Now animate the logo, press P to open position, go at 3 seconds, bring it up, then go at 15 frames forward, and bring it down. Select all keyframes, right click on it, go to keyframes assistant, and easy ease them. Press alt and click on stopwatch icon in position property. Type the expression give in description. Now press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the logo background layer, and name it, Matt. Set it up the text layer. Set text comp to alpha matte matte. And delete drop shadow from matte layer. Now add some waves to it, go in effects and presets, and search for fill effect. And apply to the shape layer 1. Now go at 3.15 frames forward and set keyframe of color in fill effect and change color to a color code. Now go at few frames forward and set color to Anathor color code. Again go few frames forward, and set color to first color code. Now adjust the keyframes as shown. 
Now select thus keyframes right click on it. Go to keyframes assistant and easy ease them. Now copy the fill effect, and paste in all the shape layers. Press Ctrl plus V to paste it. Now select all the keyframes and adjust as shown. Now our animation is complete. I see you in the next video.